Hello there everyone, my name is Raxby and welcome back to some more Let's Play Professor Layton and the Lost Future. Last time around, we arrived here in Future Layton's office and figured out his secret identity. He was Dr. Stangun, also known as Dimitri Allen, and he is the one who kidnapped the Prime Minister. However, they escaped and now we need to figure out a secret way out of here because the family are after us now, so let's uh, explore this desk. Ah, there's a trapdoor here. Hmm, then my hunch was right. Looks like we found our way out of here. Ugh, they must have built this stairwell for men less uh, buff and muscular than me. And there's more than one path. Which way do we go, Leighton? Oh yeah, uh, Don Paolo is also here. And he was dressed up as one of the Leightons to confuse future Leightons. So for a second there we had three Leightons. But yeah, that was all very weird. Look, there's a map here that charts out the network of tunnels below us. Hmm, let me see. This is a bit of a tangled mess, isn't it? Let's uh, see if we can solve this tangled mess then by solving puzzle 97. In this dark maze of tunnels, you can't turn unless you hit a wall. Starting at the red dot and following this rule, you need to reach the exit without taking the same path twice or running into any dead ends. Which route should you take? Draw the line to plan your escape. So um, at the start there's basically three paths that we could uh, take. We could go up here um, and every time you reach... Uh, oh, right, right. You can't turn unless you hit a wall. So we would go up, then hit a wall, then we would have to go down, hit a wall. And here we could go two ways, essentially. Uh, so so that, that would be one option. Okay, let, let's say we go that way, that way, that way. Well, eventually we would reach a dead end here. Uh, and if we were to go up and up, that would also be a dead end. So that's not possible. Uh, if we take this path down, then, well, that would be a dead end. And this would also be a dead end. So that's not a way we can go. Oh, uh, let's restart just. All right, if we go straight here, then we would also reach this dead end or again, reach this dead end. So from the start, we already know we have to go down. If we go down, we can go here, 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 here. Of course, if we go right now, we would reach a dead end. So we're gonna go left and keep following this. And there we go, that reaches us brings us to the exit nice and clean let's take this route I've got a good feeling about this one few things satisfy like a puzzle solved there we go great escape we found our way out <laughs> the passes below are too narrow for all of us to move through at the same time if we want to get out we'll need to split into two groups I guess we have no choice. Who should I take with me? You always get to be the gentleman. This time I want to escort the young lady. Mm, well, no, I'd prefer you to come with me, Don Paolo. Very well, Flora and I will go together. Luke, you go with the professor and help him keep an eye on Don Paolo. Treat me to me, little Luke. I want to be in the professor's group. We'll see each other soon enough, Flora. Go with Big Luke and we'll meet back at the hotel. All right, groups are set. Let's get moving. Ouch, what did I just run into? Let me guess, a wall? Let's see, hmm, this might actually be a door. Yes, it is, there's a handle here. Phew. Great, now where are we? Hmm, at the bottom of an emergency stairwell. There should be a way out of the building here somewhere. Hmm, should there be? Oh, well, there's a hint going there. I guess uh, there's a door right over here. I guess we can take that. Yeah, let's take it. Hmm. Well, look at that. We made it out. Yeah, the family is bound to have some thugs in the vicinity. So uh, let's put some distance between us and the pagoda. That definitely does sound like a good idea. Let's uh, head down. I still don't understand why Don Paolo's here. Can someone please explain that to me? That would be very nice, Luke, I agree. Always with the questions. 
Won't you put a lid on it for a few minutes, you brat? I most certainly will not. Uh, honestly, you two, would you please stop bickering? You're on the same side. And while I'm getting things off my chest, why the heck did I have to play the decoy who gets caught? Come now, Paul. It wasn't that bad. Your role was certainly the more exciting one. Professor, you still haven't explained what's going on. I knew we'd be monitored from the moment we stepped foot inside the pagoda. So I wanted to make sure we had at least one trick up our collective sleeve. Don Paolo, master of deception and disguise, seemed like the perfect man to employ for the task. Hmm, I guess it makes sense to win an ace up your sleeve, but... How did you get Don Paolo to agree? Weren't we enemies? You two are friends? That's the first I've heard of this. Ha! Don't get it confused, kid. I'm no friend of his. We both want answers to the same questions. So we decided to work together. That's all. When did this start? Tell me, Luke. When we visited Dr. Schrader, did anything he said strike you as strange? It was his greeting that made me suspicious. Huh? Who's that? Oh, it's you, Herschel. And little Luke. Yeah, I remember. But what of it? He didn't seem terribly surprised to see little Luke, did he? Hmm, I suppose not, which would be weird since it was in future Luke's timeline. Of course! In the future, I'm not a kid anymore. But the doctor didn't even notice. Precisely. That means Dr. Schrader was... Don Paolo in disguise, yes. Okay, that makes no sense. Why was Don Paolo disguising himself as Dr. Schrader in the hospital? So you knew he was a fake before he even said four sentences. Wow. You're good, Professor. That planted the seed of doubt, though I didn't confirm my suspicion until much later. Did Don Paolo pose as anyone else? Yes. He did a bit of spying on us as Dean Del Mono when we met him last. From the moment I laid eyes on him, it was obvious we were dealing with an imposter. Amazing! How did you know? His white hair gave it away. But white hair seems perfectly natural on a man his age. Not if he wears a wig. He let me in on his secret some time ago. He's been bald for ages. Hmm, clever. Don Paolo mistakenly selected a white wig to show how much Dean Del Mona had aged. Wow, nice work there, Professor. The only thing I think is a bit of a shame is that all of these hints the professor was able to figure out, but a lot of them are probably not even going to be close to hints to you. Because, I mean, for example, the fact that Dean Dalmona is bald, you never get access to the information in any way, so there's no way you could have figured that out. That's always a bit of a shame. I would always like to be able to figure things out as well if you just look at it, or be able to look back and think like, oh, now that makes sense. But... With this, I don't really quite have that. Shortly after that, I confronted Don Paolo and had him tell me everything. It seems Dimitri had been paying him quite handsomely to make sure we headed toward the pagoda. I filled Don Paolo in on all the strange happenings we've witnessed here. And then I requested his assistance in solving this mystery. Well, that all makes sense, I suppose. But the part I still don't get is why Don Paolo decided he wanted to help us. Yeah, if he was getting paid by the others and we have been rivals pretty much throughout the first two games, why would he help us now? After all, this is the man who tried to run us over with a ferris wheel. That happened. 
That's none of your business, brat. Hey! Call me a brat again and just see what happens. It was Claire, Luke. It all had to do with Claire. The woman Dimitri was talking about. Claire was my girlfriend back when I was just starting my academic career. Okay, I had a hunch that that was the case, but we still know very little about Claire. She was a researcher who worked in the same laboratory as Dimitri. Oh no! So she... Yes. The last time I saw her, she was on her way to the lab the day of that massive explosion. The oddest thing is that the accident received very little media coverage. It's clear someone with a lot of influence was suppressing information about the incident. I did everything I could to research the matter on my own. My efforts were largely fruitless. I had no idea. It's likely that Dimitri feels he is to blame for Claire's death. His obsession with going back in time seems like a twisted version of atonement. Why does he feel guilty? Did he cause the explosion? What a terribly sad story. But what does it have to do with Don Paolo? Well, Luke, as it turns out, Dimitri and I weren't the only ones with strong feelings for Claire. What? You mean... What? Don't act so surprised. I have feelings too, you know. Claire sure was popular. Thanks for meeting me on such short notice, Herschel. Oh, no. It's my pleasure. Here, this is for you. What is it? <laughs> A letter, of course. Read it at home. Why don't you just tell me what it says? I'm right here, after all. My, you're making this quite difficult. What I want to say is, well, in short, this. <laughs> Light time! You! You will pay for this someday! What was that? Huh? Leighton has been my arch nemesis ever since that fateful day. He literally just straight up ran into the water and kept running and the duck is like, What are you doing? Like, you're not a duck. What are you doing in this water? I don't know, I just thought that was a really funny cutscene. And it's kind of a cliche that their rivalry or their nemesisness is because of love. <sighs> oh well, let's move on. I see. Yes, though it's worth mentioning that I had no inkling of Paul's crush until he told me himself. He was in the year above me at university. Imagine my surprise when I learned that Don Paolo was none other than my old classmate Paul. I had no idea you'd been through so much. Sorry for being so mean to you, um, Paul. Been too much? He had a crush on someone who was not in love with him, but instead with someone else. So he became the nemesis of that person uh, who he felt stole his girlfriend. But really, Claire never loved Don Paolo, so he never had a shot with her. It's not Leighton's fault at all. It, 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 it's ridiculous. Ugh. Spare me your sappy sympathy. And my name is Don Paolo. Address me as such, boy. Anyway, you put on quite the performance, uh, Don Paolo. With you distracting Dimitri, I had just enough time to do some sleuthing in the area. So that's what you were doing while we were climbing the pagoda. Did you find anything? 
Yes, but I need to confirm a few facts before I can connect all the dots. Then it sounds like that should be our next move. Where to, Professor? Oh, ho, ho. I'll let you ponder that for yourself. But first, we should head back to the hotel. Flora and the other Luke are waiting for us there. Sounds like a good idea. And with that, we are starting chapter 10, Across the Thames. So, before we move anything, uh, that was a lot of plot just thrown at us all at once, but it does explain a bit about why Don Paolo was there and what their relationship is, as well as who Claire was exactly and why she plays such a key role. So I think it was very necessary that this plot was dropped on us because a lot of things were kind of confusing and now it's all been explained. Anyway, let's grab this banana peel here. Yep, I see what you see, another banana skin. Let's uh, pick it up and, oh, hold on. What's wrong? Let me guess, another banana puzzle? Yes, it is the case. Let's solve puzzle 98, Slippery Trip 3. Make your way from the start to the goal, but be wary of banana skins. Whenever you step on one, you'll slide without stopping until you hit a wall. Can you find a solid route through these slippery streets? Touch the red arrow to move in that direction. Okay, let's uh, start by going down here. Um, and then I'm gonna go over to the left. We're gonna slip all the way here, but th that should be fine. Uh, let's slip down and I guess we should go over here. Um, hmm. No, we wanna go up here. Uh, yeah, yeah, that should work because now we can go through this little pathway here and actually make our way all the way to the exit. There we go. Not too difficult. This one's as good as solved. I knew it! Here's something you might not know about bananas. They're one of the fruits that keep ripening even after they're picked. This means that they're green when they're picked. You wouldn't want to eat a green one though. It probably wouldn't be very nice. Well, some people might disagree with that. I know my girlfriend really likes green bananas over more yellow ones. So I guess it's up to personal tastes. Yeah, they're all over the place. Do people love littering or what? Hmm, maybe. Maybe it's all the same person. Anyway, we got another sticker for our sticker book, but it's not enough yet to complete the next puzzle. Hmm, you want to take the train back? Hmm, sounds good. Well, fine. This is where we part ways. I've got other things to do. So, gonna formulate an evil plan? Now, why would you ever accuse me of that? I'm wounded. I'm just going to work on a pet project that I've been meaning to finish. Very well. Uh, meet up us with up, uh, meet up with us later when you're ready. You can find us. Yeah, yeah. I'm no fool, Leighton. I'll know where to find you. And he's gone. Well, I guess we're gonna leave him to his own devices. Uh, we can trust him for now, I suppose. Yep, and he must have cared a lot for Claire, because it turned him to Don Paolo. Yeah. He was quite besotted, but enough about that. We have some work to do. Let's get moving. Hmm. Yeah, we don't know much about our next step now that Future Laden is fake. Well, in light of the new developments, our first priority is to rescue the Prime Minister. Dimitri fled the towering pagoda with Mr. Hawk, so he must have another hideout in the area. Hmm, and we're going to find it. Oh, but first, to the hotel, of course. That's right, we need to meet, Big, meet Flora and Big Luke at the hotel. Hopefully they got back safely. I hope so too. Um, now let's actually head down a bit more. I, of course we do need to take the train. But there are a few puzzles actually around Chinatown that we can get. That I want to get to first. What was she thinking? What's the matter? Yeah I'm supposed to go to my friend's house but I don't know where it is. Her instructions make no sense at all. They're gibberish. Here have a look. Alright let's uh, see if we can help him out. 
a friend sent you an invitation to come and visit. The wording of the letter, however, is a bit odd. First knock on a certain door, then knock on the door below it, and then the door below that. Now knock on the door to the right of that one. Finally knock on the next door to the right, that's my place. Touch your friend's door to open it. Be careful to not leave any other doors open when you submit your answer. Okay, so this really isn't too difficult of a puzzle. Uh, the first hint basically says that we need to knock on the door below it and a knock door below that. So the only way we can do that is if we start in the top row here. Uh, if we start on this top row, then we could go one down and another one down. Then uh, the next um, the next uh, hints say uh, knock on the door to the right of that. And then knock on the door to the right of that. That should be where I live. The only way that can be is this bottom right one. Because else you couldn't go two to the right and two down. So you would have to start in the top left. And eventually your friend lives in the bottom right here. So that's the door I'm going to open. Let's see if I've got this right. Just as I suspected. And there we go. That's a knockout. Well done, man. I've been playing with my friend like every day. My dad's never home and neither are her parents. They all stay cooped up at the research facility day and night. Hmm, so your father is a researcher? Him and almost everyone else in this part of town. Hmm, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Well, we'll be solving a few more puzzles around Chinatown before making our way back to the hotel in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it and then you want to see more, then please do consider subscribing to my channel down below. And while you're down there, maybe leave a thumbs up on this video. And I will see you all next time.